Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this uh, Python video series, we are going to learn how to use uh, Sublime, one of the editor, uh, to develop Python code. Yeah. So as you know, uh, to write a Python code, we can use uh, a, a ID like uh, PyCharm. But PyCharm uh, takes more memory and uh, more resources on your computer. But some developers do not like PyCharm. Instead, they go for the uh, lightweight uh, editor like uh, uh, sublime right so in this video tutorial we'll see how we can uh, download uh, install and use it sublime on your local machine to download sublime just go to the Google and type sublime and press enter and this is the official website sublimetext.com just click over here and click on the downloads now depends on your operating system if you are using Mac then you need to click over here if you are using Windows uh, 32 bits, then click over here. But in my case, my Windows operating system is 64 bits, so just I have to click on this, right? If you are uh, using, if you want to use uh, on Linux, then you need to click on Linux repos, right? But I have already downloaded uh, Sublime, right? So just twice click on this executable and uh, you just you need to click a uh, few times next 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 and you are done with the installation once you install sublime then you need to open it so here once you open it then it will tell you unregistered means uh, 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 sublime uh, you can uh, use it for a uh, 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 free, free of cost but uh, if you want to use it for commercial purpose then uh, like, uh, like if you want to develop some software and uh, from that uh, you want uh, uh, basically you are earning something then I would recommend you to go for the uh, basically commercial one. So to buy it just you need to click after installation sublime just click on the help and here you will get option purchase license just you need to click over here and you need to pay some dollars and then after you get the commercial version of sublime. But uh, here we are uh, just using for the learning purpose, so we would go for the uh, free free one, yeah. So here I am going to write a very simple method, uh, and you know, you know Python uh, every method uh, starts with def, and let's say method name is or function name is uh, welcome, yeah. And this uh, welcome is going to just print a message, hello world. That's it. yeah and I'm going to call this guy welcome right and this is just going to print hello world so first of all you need to press ctrl s to save it so I'm going to save as test dot py you have to give the extension you can save anywhere here I'm going to save on the desktop right to run it uh, basically you need to press ctrl b right but before that you have to go if you are using sublime first time then click on the tools and go to the build system and here make sure that you are selecting python if uh, because uh, sublime can be used to uh, create a code for some other language as well so just select python and after that to run this code just you need to click uh, control b right this is the shortcut so if i uh, press control b then it is showing there is some problem indentation problem and again just after saving after making correct just I'm going to press ctrl B and here you can see I get the output right so apart from that uh, you, you can see a lot of options are available over here to create a new file control n to open an existing file if you have already a python code directly you can open it and run uh, on the sublime apart from that this shortcut you can see Right here if you want to do some kind of search operation right quick search or some kind of finding operation for that we have a key right so we have a different type of shortcuts available in sublime you can explore yourself right so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next tutorial